Welcome back YouTube fans. This is a review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Marvel Legends series and Drax the Destroyer. Though he's just called Drax on this, unlike his previous incarnation in this previous series. Now, I do not have that figure, but from what I have seen and observed, they look like they're very similar molds. I cannot say the exact details without a copy here to compare, but I can say that this one is a really good design. I especially like the way the tattoos on the chest, when you flip it up like this, and when you flip it forward like this on both sides, match up pretty well. So whoever designed this took a lot of effort to design those to look like they would match at most positions where you flip it back and forth. So I've got to give definite kudos there on their design work. However, one failing I do have for this figure is the fact that his mouth is wide open in a yell. This is not bad, but it's a bit of a problem for display purposes. If you were going to do that, I'd recommend adding an extra head, one that you can swap out. Otherwise, he looks like he's always screaming, and Drax, especially in the most recent Avengers film, where he and the others are in Infinity War, it's not true that he's always screaming. Now, another thing I like is that this one comes with a big gun, though his hands aren't really d shaped to hold it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for the Build-A-Figure, Titus, at least. I think that's what he's called. I think he's one of the Guardian's characters. I'm not sure if he's a hero or villain. Doesn't really fit in this hand, which is his add-on, so I'm just not sure if the gun works, really. The thing that it does work well with, or more precisely the hands work well with, are the little daggers. And I like this figure because it's got little sheaths in the boots here that allow you to put them in. You can stick them right in. They fit in quite well and snug. And this is pretty much more like Drax from the first movie and the beginning of the second one, pulling out daggers and fighting aliens in general. All in all, I'd say this is a solid figure. If you can find one, I found mine on sale at GameStop, but it's a solid figure and definitely worth the money for it if you can find one. I'm not sure about if Titus, this giant cat creature that this arm belongs to, is any good, but the joint work on it is solid. Some forward-backwards motion, even though it's a giant hand. The elbow joint is pretty solid and sturdy as is the ball joint at the top with a joint here. So I'm not sure if this figure would be great to build, but I may take a shot at it depending on what I can find. Overall, it's a definite plus. I'm not, as I said, I'm not sure what the previous Drax was, figure was like, but this one definitely has a lot of good points. Plus it comes with a bit more, especially with the giant gun, as the original Drax only had the two blades. Either way, a must if you are a fan of the Guardians or just build a figures and wanting to collect them. If you don't want two Draxes, I'd go for this one because I just think it's the better buy. At any rate, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!